Hey everyone, welcome to STEM Edgeer, your source for expanding your imagination and learning all about STEM related topics. If you would like to watch more of my content on STEM Edgeer, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a new STEM Edgeer video. If you also like this video, drop a like down below. You can also follow me on Twitter by clicking the link in the video description or by going to Twitter and searching at STEM Edgeer. So now onto today's topic. Technology has become a part of our everyday lives, especially given all that is going on with the COVID-19 pandemic. For school, digital tools have become even more important to help us be successful and learn as much as we can. Today I'll be talking about one specific tool that I have found helpful to keep me and my notes organized. It's called Microsoft OneNote. This video will be part of a two-part series. For this video, I'll share some basic information about organizing and setting up a OneNote notebook. Once we have the basics mastered, in my next video, I'll share with you some cool features you can use for OneNote to help you with your classes. So let's get started on some OneNote basics. To access OneNote, you need to have a Microsoft account or an Office 365 subscription. Make sure to check with your parents for that. I'll be speaking from the perspective of having an Office 365 subscription and using macOS operating system. If you have an Office 365 subscription, you can download the OneNote application to your computer. As a side note, you can also download the OneNote app from the App Store to both an iPad and an iPhone and share content across devices. Although I'm speaking from the perspective of Apple, OneNote is also available for Android devices. You can get this from the Google Play Store on Android. So once you have the OneNote application, you can explore the basics of OneNote. Let's get fam familiar with the look and feel of OneNote. I'll show you how you can set up organi and organize your notebook on your computer. When you first open OneNote on your computer, the first thing you need to do is to create a new notebook. A notebook is a place where you can store information. Think of this like a paper notebook but except it's digital. You can create a notebook for a particular subject like English, or you can create a notebook for a topic area such as the school year of 2020 to 2021. Both are examples of different ways you can use a notebook to organize information. To create a new no notebook, click on Add Notebook. Click New. And then pick a color and then name the notebook. And then you can click a place to, to save the notebook. And then after you finish all those steps, you can click create and it will create the notebook. And that is how you create a new notebook in OneNote. So now that you have created a new notebook, you can further organize it by creating sections. Think of sections like tabs in a paper notebook or a three ring binder. They are basically additional groupings of information. For example, for a notebook specific to a school year, you could create sections for each subject to organize your school information. Let's try it out. Once you've created a new notebook, you will see text at the bottom called add section right here. Click on this to create a new section. It will create a new tab with an image. Be sure to put your name in the tab in the text box. I'm just going to put example. So right Once you've done this, you've now created a new section. Once you've created this section, there are different things you can do with the section by right clicking on it. The first thing you can do is you can create a new section of groups. So right here, a section of groups. Now what this does is going to create basically a folder where you can drag other sections. So let me just add a sec another section for example. example. And then we can drag these sections in here. So it's going to just create a new folder of sections and then we can click the drop down button to see each of these examples of sections and this is also how you can move a section too and you can if you right click it you can also change the color 
And here are all the color options. And finally, if you would like to, you can create a password protection. And you would create a password and verify. But remember, if you lose or forget the password, OneNote cannot recover your data. So just remember that when creating a password for a section in OneNote. So we've created a notebook in a section, but to organize your notes, it's helpful to use one more level of organization, which is a page. For example, if you use a subject as a section, you can create pages to store your lecture notes. This is just one example, but you can also experiment with OneNote to see the structure that works best for you. Uh, now, I'll show you how to create a page within a section. To create a new page in OneNote, click the Add Page button at the bottom of the screen. It will create a new page being automatically named Untitled Page. You can type in the header to rename the page. It will also have exactly when and the date when you created the page. It's as simple as that. You already know how to create a page. Now that you know how to create a page, here are some extra things you can do with the pages. You can click you can click this filter button right here to sort it alphabetically. When the date was create when it was created and when it's modified. And for each of these filters, you could double you could click it again to reverse it to reverse it in the other order. Some other things you can do is click this you can click this search button right here and then you can search a page by its page title so we're going to do page one because that's one of the pages this names and then quick we quickly came to find this page right here so it's another quick way you can find it so now you know you've learned some basics about one note including how to create notebooks sections, and pages to organize your notes. Thanks for joining me in this damage year adventure. Remember, in our next adventure, I'll give you even more tips and tricks for using OneNote for school. Remember, if you like this video, then click the like button down below. And if you want to see more damage year content, click the subscribe button. And finally, you can follow me on Twitter by clicking the link in the video description or by going to Twitter and searching for at Stemage Year. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.